All right, martial arts class, you're gonna discover how to spin the staff above your head and behind your back. We're gonna warm up with a really simple move. Going from hand to hand, we're gonna get right into the overhead and behind the back spin. It's gonna be a fast martial arts lesson. Warm up this way though. It's important to always warm up, especially when you start to do new techniques. You can go back to your old standards. So this is a standard warm up. It's designed to improve the speed, strength, ability to handle the staff, hold the staff without dropping it. Hello, it's good to see you, Vic. One side to the next. Simply warm up easily this way. This will also teach you how to transfer or pass the staff from one hand to the other. You're gonna use the same pass above your head. Oh, good. I've been checking. I know we've kind of got uh, disconnected there for a little bit. Maybe disconnect is not the right word, but you know what I mean. I keep looking, I keep watching for him. We're just going from one side to the next. That's about enough to get you warmed up. Now I'm gonna raise the camera up a little bit. Kind of try something different today. You don't always have the right height. There we go. Nice and up over the head. So from here, I'm gonna start in that same transfer, going from side to side, in front of the body, and I just simply lift my arms up above my head, and I'm gonna practice that same thing right here. Get close enough without smacking the camera. I'm just gonna go back and forth, a little faster. And then I'm gonna let the right hand drop. And as it drops, it's gonna go behind the back. When you go behind the back, you're gonna turn it. I'm just gonna show you it looks like this. The staff is gonna be going up and down. The other hand is gonna come under it and take it and bring it out. It then goes up above your head, drops. When it's here, perpendicular to the ground, the other hand takes it pulls it out and puts it over your head. But let's go back above the head because I want you to see something else that you can do here. You want me to say your name? You're not sure what your name is. I'm not sure what your name is either. I thought it was Elite something. Super chat me and then I'll say your name. How about that? It, it is, Vic, but you know what? It makes me laugh. It's part of the, um, it's part of doing all this stuff. I think it's probably a cultural thing too. It's a younger person's thing. I, I'm not trying to judge. Behind your back, it's gonna look like this when you pull it out. Let me show you. Turn around, right hand, the left hand just comes under, and then I pull it out. So the right hand, left hand comes out. Simply lift it above your head, turn it, bring it back, and then up. So it's really simple. That's the best way to get started. Above your head, behind your back. I'm gonna lift the camera up a little bit more. It's kinda, it's crazy when we do it that way, right? It can make you dizzy. But I also want you to practice keeping it over your head. Part of it is, you should, yeah, an orange belt, you should be able to go above your head, behind your back. And if you think about it, this is just that overhand butterfly spin. So you know this, the first level, putting it over your head, level three uh, allows you to just continue to grow. It's a different plane. So I want you to be able to go behind your back, over your head, do this in a continuous motion, and then also get it up here and throw in a couple of spins over your head, like leave it there above your head a little bit, and then bring it back behind your back over your head. And then of course, go the other way. You should be able to go one way, go the other way just as easily. Today I'm using the lightweight staff made out of rattan. Now let's move on to a couple of other things since we're here. 
We're gonna do the wrist roll to a wrist roll. Balancing on the back of your hand. This is a second level skill. Yellow belt level. One side, and then the other side. When you turn your hand up and you open it, you just allow it to then balance, grab it, turn it back the other way. One side, the other side. Do this for about 30 seconds on one hand and go into the other one. Just going one side to the other side. It's like an annoying kid, you have to learn. You, you ignore certain things, right? And then after a while, they stop. But, that's the, but it's not always intended to be annoying or whatever. It might just be different from what we're used to. I've learned that too. It's important not to assume. But this, the say my name thing, that's become pretty common I've seen recently. Back around the side of one hand and then the other one, and then I want you to switch. Now you can do this spin. I want to show you again, because we're over the head, right? We're doing the over the head spin. You can do a wrist roll over your head and I'm doing it slowly so you can see it, but you can also open the hand and allow it to spin just this way. I'm going to show you from here. I'm going to lift the camera up. I promise this will be the last time because I'm going to move on. We're going to, this is a short one today. We're going to go on in about 30 seconds after this one. We're going to do one bow class. But you've been asking me specifically over the head and behind the back. So you start the spin like you would normally. Open the hand and allow it to then spin through your hand. And of course you can go either direction. And that's a, that's a palm spin. So a palm spin, I don't know if you've ever fed a horse. You've got to keep your hand open so they don't bite your fingers off. But it's the same thing. You just keep your, you get the momentum going, open that hand and allow it to palm spin. And that's a little bit different technique. Thank you, I appreciate that. You just go over your head, palm spin, keep it going, over the head, behind the back. Maybe do a couple of uh, helicopter spins up here. That's just that continuous bow staff spin or the, um, Butterfly spin, and then you do an open palm spin or two, and you throw it in with a bunch of other techniques. All right, we'll be right back. Give me about two minutes. I wanna reset things up so it's not so high, but we're gonna go into some level three, some orange belt stuff, some continuous finger rolls, and then also that three finger roll. And then I wanna do wrist roll to wrist roll, and wrist roll to finger roll. And pretty soon you're gonna see the next kata. I'll show you the, the basic katas. There are about two so far. There's one more coming up this week. I've been working on it. I wanna make sure that I can do it pretty well. They're all basic, so they're, it's not that they're hard, but I don't wanna be stuck in the middle trying to show you the kata and I don't remember it. So we're gonna do that in about two minutes. I'll see you guys in a minute. Thanks.